Hello everyone, welcome to the second session. In last session, we have seen what is karate, how to run the karate for, how to use karate for API test automation. We have done the initial setup and we have run a uh, few tests and you know try to get uh, the gist of karate. In this session, we're gonna focus on how to generate the cucumber results in karate and running tests in parallel. So why these are the important aspect? I'll uh, try to explain that. So. Uh, in last last uh, video, we we just focused on one particular uh, scenario. But your feature file can consist of many 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 scenarios, and you will have soon you know once you go beyond the POC, you will soon have the features file, and you want that ability to run the multiple feature files in parallel, right? And that is where uh, you want to have parallel execution. And if you run in CICD format, karate reports are decent enough, but some people favor the cucumber results because they are used to it and you know they are more like and they have pie chart and looks uh, more detailed. So, so we can you know try to understand both those things and try to uh, you know see how can we implement those. I have created two feature files on JSON uh, on top of JSON placeholder. So, what is that? I'll explain it as in first. So, JSON placeholder is uh, nothing but a file that provides a public API. Uh, it has, you know, different resources, posts, uh, users, to-dos, photos, album. I have used post and uh, to-dos, uh, something that we're going to use for in our, our test. So you can see, right, if I want post one, then I can see post one. And uh, if I want to do one, I can use to do one. So very, very similar to the, you know, what we have seen earlier. So you provide the path and see the result and just like that and they have also provided some guidelines as well you know how to use this you now if you want to create how to create payload how to delete how to put and patch so i have you know relied on a four method um, of an http and i wrote feature around those mm -hmm. and scenarios and couple of gate calls verifying individual post and particular all the post uh, posts and blog post and then post method and then put and delete similarly for to do we are making two get call one post call creating a new to do then updating post to do and verification so if you are interested in the uh, this particular code what i have covered you can check out the github uh, it would be under session 2 uh, in the branch session 2 uh, i'll definitely merge it to the master but if you are just you know following tutorial by tutorial video by video you will find it under the session 2 for previous video you can click on the link on the right side of your youtube or you can uh, check out session one code from github uh, github url would be in the description again right so so we have to create an something to do the parallel execution and we have to create a cucumber result so let's see how can we do that in a karate so uh, i'll be opening karate github page Okay, here is the Karate's GitHub page and we wanted to do the parallel execution. So we will go to the run in parallel execution. We are using it. So how to do that has been provided here, right? So I'll create this class. Okay, four. Is there any difference between JUnit and JUnit with four and five? I don't think it is. So let's copy anyway. So go to here. Let me add a class test parallel and then what i'll do i'll just copy you know whatever the code has been given to me mm, okay class path is here is animals and we have package created as a json placeholder so we may have to update we have to we may not we may we have to update it otherwise it won't work so let me refactor rename json placeholder and change it right so where that animals came from if you are curious about that you can see you know uh, they have given some default repository of contention other details and the structure of an karate and how it should be so in there you can see animal as a directory and that is why you know the code that we have copied has you know, animals as an in a path right so here 
in a class also. We have just changed to the R directory. We have not added any tag and we have 10 scenarios we gonna execute it within parallel as a file. So let me execute this test. So it's getting built. The objective is you know something that we were running individually earlier using the IDE feature particular scenarios we can run that in the in a parallel. So we are building it so you so after building, you know, executing, you will see the target folder which is not there yet. Okay, yeah, so building is completed. Um, and target folder is now present, right? So let it execute. So waiting for two features to complete it. We have two features. You may have 100 features and you can use this. You, you can't use it for one feature, there is no use uh, because parallelism happens at the level of a feature so you can't use this with multiple features but if you wanted to do it with a few features and disable it for a few features you can do that for that you have you know how to add as an add parallel false at this scenario or the particular feature level and that should work. Uh, uh, you know, scenario has to be independent, and if they are not, uh, they had to be run in particular sequence. It's in an anti-pattern, so Karate don't promote to have this. But if you want to, you can do that as well. Uh, so we ran our test parallelly. Mm, let's go to the results. Uh, let's go to the timeline as well. So timeline will help us. You know what five tests got executed first with the five threads because threads were five, and then uh, so by the time it get opens, I'll I'll show you. Uh, and then there is other result as well, summary result. Okay, cool. I guess. So the so timeline shows that five threads you know started executing and they have made call for. Uh, different scenarios and on hover I get the name of scenarios right you can see that and in summary I, I get that you know detail time uh, it took and two uh, feature files and in feature files five scenarios so I, I get all the details and right so let me you know uh, let me fail something so we can verify so I am just adding a status 300 so that we can verify if you want to run it individually you can just run it using a browser feature right so you can see that scenario did it you are just verifying it in particular uh, scenario from a feature file and one feature file can have n number of scenarios ideally those should be independent so when you are gonna be developing the script or developing the feature file you are gonna use or rely on this you don't have to use or run the parallel runner but if you want to go beyond executing this uh, then you know probably uh, you have to use parallel runner uh, mainly with CICD and you can see that it has failed status code was 200 and you are expecting 300 right so 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 that was the reason so if I open this again um, I am expecting it to show only one case and it should also fail okay one only one one scenario is one failed right because status was expected came as a 200 and we got failed as a 300 right so so this is what's one thing but if you want to run all the scenarios you can just click on that and you will do you know do with the running all the scenarios from a feature file but this is really helpful if you want to go beyond one feature file and execute multiple features right? so so we were able to do the you know uh, parallel execution using this particular method provided on the karate repo as i you know mentioned earlier as well so the documentation is very top notch and uh, you don't need to watch the videos if you, you know go thoroughly but uh, thoroughly through the documentation but if you are someone who rely on the videos instead of on documentation then yeah please go ahead and watch these videos uh, so you know this results uh, so we have created results so now we have to you know try to see you know how can we generate a cucumber report so obviously cucumber reporting we gonna rely on cucumber reporting mm, okay so this is the dependency that we may have we like to we should add so i'm going to the dependency session adding this dependency okay check version number we need to add a version number as well so let me google search it copy My 
and okay latest is 5.3 i can no 5.5 5.3 so let me open it put directly 5.5.3 and see yeah it's there uh, i have already downloaded this earlier so it is being shown here so 5.5.3 we have added the dependency let's see what else we need to do so we need to we of course you know as mentioned over here there might be you know some we may have to generate detail we have to create a detail configuration where we will provide other details to the result folder to create detail cucumber result right just like this so so we can find try to find that detail here using a karate demo so they have given in karate demo all the features and details okay demo test parallel run test in parallel and cucumber reporting so let's click on this uh, okay so we have ran the results and okay we have to provide the output path so let me copy these two lines and copy it and paste it to the code that we have written so let me delete it or let me keep it as it is and do this uh, and in the path instead of a demo i'll do the json placeholder i can i don't need this i will just get rid of this and obviously i'll need an, this method right report directory method and i'll copy this method from here and paste it here so that it won't look for a method okay i'll need to bring down some dependencies of java file file utils collection okay okay list yes list import class list java util array configuration uh, yes I, I need a configuration for a cucumber report builder and target okay I'm not sure it would create something under the target, but let's give it a run and try to find out whether this works or not. We are keeping it, you know, we are creating output JSON file for Cucumber using a true and for running the scenarios from this path, five thread, not using any tags, and try to see the you know details from a target folder. So let's see whether this runs or not. Otherwise, we will see you know whether this target path is correct or not. We may have to you know provide the path. Okay, the execution has started. Ah, looks like you know execution is most of the data. Yes, ah, I can see the cucumber result. A new folder has been created here. So let me open feature file. Open, open, open in the browser. Chrome. Oh, we are able to see it. Oh, there is one failure as well. It must be delete something that we have did. You can see, you know, other other scenarios has passed and only delete has failed. And by default, it was open. And you see the result, right? Status code was a 200. Expected or 300. We, we deliberately made sure it fails. Uh, cool we are able to see the cucumber report so that's it for this video you saw how to run the multiple test in parallel execution and how to generate the cucumber result so if you go by feature out of two feature one feature has failed just like you know all the details uh, one feature has completely passed and if you go by the scenarios out of nine scenarios has passed 90 percent pass one scenario has failed right so, so for all the details that you get here and these are the uh, test steps which we don't have to worry about in karate okay thank you for watching please let me know if you have any questions bye bye